Hey everybody, welcome to a tutorial on how to use the Lunar IPS Patcher and for this I'm using my Pokemon Light Platinum IPS file and my Pokemon Ruby GBA file. So if you're familiar with the Pokemon Coders website then you would know about the Pokemon Hack ROMs and I always go for the completed hacked ROMs because I'd rather have a complete one rather than a still in development one where I have to update it and then probably restart it when a new patch comes out. So for this exact one I'm using the Pokemon Light Platinum download. I did this let's play a few years back and I'm planning to redo it on my gaming channel now that it's complete. So what you need to do from that website is download the Pokemon Light Platinum or it could be any Pokemon hacked ROM of your preference. I'm using Light Platinum as an example so for this I'm using Light Platinum so once you have downloaded it you have to find the ROM that's compatible with it so since Pokemon Light Platinum is a hacked ROM of Pokemon Ruby you have to find the Pokemon Ruby GBA now I will not provide any links in the description however because downloading ROMs is illegal so you will have to find your own uh, way of finding the Pokemon Ruby GBA ROM and just to prove that this is Pokemon Ruby this is my GBA emulator I've got a new one now I used to use Visual Boy Advance but this one was much more better because it allowed me to record the actual game screen rather than my window screen So yeah, that is Pokemon Ruby, we just saw it there, so now what we've got to do is load up the IPS um, patcher, and then you want to click apply IPS patch. Now to do this, we got to find our IPS file, so I saved mine onto a desktop, it could be anywhere of your preference, but I chose the desktop because it's easiest to navigate to, then I just want to highlight it, or double click it. And then we have to find the GBA ROM as well. So once we do that, we've got to double click it, and then it says patch was uh, successful. Now you're probably wondering what has this all done? Well, basically, it's made the Pokemon uh, Ruby ROM now like platinum because it's not Ruby no more. It's actually like platinum. It doesn't change the Light of Platinum IPS into a ROM. All it does is change the Pokemon Ruby ROM into like platinum hacked rom so when we load up our no gba and just drag in pokemon ruby now And there you have it, that's how you simply make the Pokemon Light Plan IPS file into a GBA ROM. So then all you gotta do with this file is actually change the name to Light Platinum and then you should be done. But yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you did, please remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, make sure you turn on post notifications by ticking that bell to keep updated with more new exciting videos each week. But until then, Take care.